welcome back to part two. Um, this is me actually about to install this on my client's head. And this is actually my best friend who begged me. When I say y'all begged me, begged me to do her hair. And she know I don't like doing other people's hair. But I guess she's special. But right here, all I'm doing is using some edge control and pushing back all the hair well not all the hair the hair you actually see on her forehead is actually her own baby hairs like this girl have baby hairs on her forehead so this installment was a little difficult because I actually had to put the frontal in between her braids and her baby hair and I was I was a little skeptical when I was doing it but it all came out good so Right here, I'm just trying to make sure that it's going to lie in between the baby hairs and her head. Because if I would have did it, if I would have pushed it back more in front of the baby hairs, it would have been too much on her forehead. And she already got a small head. So, right here, I'm just trying, I was trying to explain to her about the glue, the ghost bond, and the, um, the got to be. I was trying to see which one I should use. And she insists on the ghost bond. And I was telling her, I was like, friend, you know, it's going to be on your hair. You want to have some type of glue in your hair. She was like, I don't care. I don't care. I just want to, I just want to be pretty. I just want to be a bad bee. That's all she kept saying. So it didn't, it didn't matter to her. But I barely put any of the glue on her, on her hair. And I'm probably going to be most likely be the one to uninstall it anyways. So like, I'll make sure that, you know, none of it pulled out her edges or anything. So right here, I'm just making sure that it won't lie on her ear, so it won't aggravate her. And we're about to put this, um, the ghost bond glue on her head. So I only use um, three layers of this. I usually just use three layers and I use three layers on her too. But right here, it's going to show y'all that I use one, but I, I really use three. But um, I just cut some of it out so the video wouldn't be so long. And a little bit of the glue did get on her edges, but it wasn't a lot. Like, it's not to the point where she's about to be bald or anything. She'll be alright. So, like I told y'all, we was putting it in between the baby hairs and between the braids. So, we're going to actually use her own baby hairs for baby hairs. This was actually like the next day after I had prepped her, uh, prepped her wig. Like I did her hair like as soon as I had got off of work. So right here I'm just beginning the Milton um, process. My friend was so tired, y'all. So right here I'm just about to cut the lace off and don't mind that hump in the back. It's just cause the hair was like drying up and it was getting puffy. But my hot my hot comb gonna fix all that. And of course, you know y'all gotta cut into a zigzag motion. So whenever we do finish melting it in, it won't you won't see the lace. And I'm glad that this wig actually fit her head because her head's so small. Like, it fit her head around the ears. Anything I didn't have to cut through the lace. Everything fit perfect. See, it would have been so bomb if she didn't have all them baby hairs. Like, look how the sides is. It's so, it's so good. But it still came out bomb. Just taking all the excess glue. And then any lace that did lift up because, you know, I couldn't really put the glue how I really wanted to put it or how wide, you know, some of the lace did lift up. So I just came back with my, um, the got to be spray. And then I made some more baby hairs. I actually just took like a little bit out of the wig. And then I just blended it in with her baby hairs. 
and it, it turned out good too. And I like making baby hairs with the wig because it helped the lace lie down flat also. And I only did two, like one on each side, again, because her head was so small, so I didn't pay to put like two or three on each side, and she had her own baby hairs already. So I think I was telling her, you know, what to do and make sure that she buy her a scarf and she couldn't have mine. She was being a smart ass and rolling her eyes. Now to reveal, look how melted and it turned out. Like it looked like her own hair. Like you can't even see the lace at all. Like when I took the scarf off, I was so proud. I was like, yes, like it came out good. Like it really came out good. Cause I was, I was a little skeptical being that this was like my first install of a frontal on someone else besides myself and the fact that she was actually difficult to, to deal with but it came out so good so I just turned off I just came back with the um the mousse just to show her you know how she can wear her hair I wish I could have still been recording because I was showing her you know all the how versatile frontal is and like she was just this is her first frontal so she was like in awe like what she can do with her hair so i'm just coming back with the hot comb to flatten everything out and friend i do apologize again like i apologize i don't cry like that i burn you like that i burn you like that I burned you. I burned okay. you. Where? No, it's okay. Please, no, I burned you. Yeah. It hurt? No. You sure? Yes. Okay. Look. I spoke too fast. <laughs> you see? <laughs> it was so crazy because we was literally talking about like how that hot comb always burning me and then I turn around and burn her. Like, I'm sorry, friend. But at the end of the day, <laughs> she liked her hair. She loved her hair. She texts me every day telling me how much she loved her hair. And she sent me some photos. So thank you guys for watching. And see y'all in my next video.